All right, Mopar fam, as you can see, we have the intercooler installed. That is Frostbite's old air-to-air -air intercooler. What's up Mopar fam? Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. As you can see, we got Project Storm pulled into the shop today and we're gonna be doing a little bit of the first part of the install on the intercooler. Uh, we got the air to air intercooler off of Frostbite and we have it right here on the table. And today's project, we're gonna try to get the intercooler itself mounted to the front of the truck and uh, get some things. We gotta do a little bit of cutting on the passenger side right here on the plastic bracing uh, to be able to fit our piping through it. So that's our goal today. We're just gonna get the intercooler mounted, get the cutting done, and then on the next video, we will be installing the Holly High Ram. And then after we have the Holly High Ram installed, we can then run our intercooler piping to the Holly High Ram intake manifold and then into the intercooler. So stay tuned, we're definitely gonna have a bunch of videos uh very soon for all the stuff going down we got to do the intercooler uh we got to do the holly high ram and we're also going to do a video of all the components necessary to switch to the holly high ram for the ram trucks so stay tuned for that so let's get to work all right guys as you can see we have the grill off this is the intercooler we're going to be putting on it this is the cx racing intercooler that actually fits a fox body mustang um, which this is the same one I installed on Frostbite. Uh, we'll have a link to it if you're interested in trying to use the same one. And we're going to be putting this, obviously, on Storm. So where we're at right now, uh, we already relocated the horns. You do have to take your horns and flip them around on the back side, right back here. Um, you can pretty much retain the same hardware. Uh, you just got to turn around and flip it right behind the brace um, so your horns will be pointing down like this and then the other thing is going to be cooler uh, which is right here we have it relocated did the same thing that i did to frostbite um, i made little drop brackets um, which you can see in my video of installing this intercooler on frostbite um, these little drop brackets basically just uh, mount at the factory location where the cooler used to mount and then it just drops it down about three or four inches um, right below the bumper um, so it's out of the way because it usually will sit about right here so now we are to the cutting part um, now also over here on the factory setups you do have your coolant overflow tank that usually mounts right here we've already removed that and as you have seen on frostbite we did the same thing we have a little external uh, overflow tank mounted over here on the fender so that takes the place of the factory one because you do have to get rid of this to also gain some room to fit your piping through here there's not a lot of room and for us to fit the three inch piping that we want to run um, this plastic bracing right here does need to be cut back some and that helps tremendously on trying to fit the piping through there. So that's our next thing we're gonna do right now is we're about to cut this with a Sawzall and we will show you what we're gonna do and what it looks like when we're done. Uh, we're not cutting a whole bunch of it off. You just gotta get rid of a little bit. So we're gonna get to that part. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We got uh, most of the cutting done. You can see, basically we just took the Sawzall blade and laid it flat against this metal cut straight back about mm, i'd call it about three inches almost and then came straight up and we rode this inside metal brace right here you can see so we just pretty much stayed flat with it came straight up to the top brace and then cut over 
I'd call that probably close to about an inch, inch and a half right here. Um, so basically you're just taking out this part of that little plastic bracing. But you can see how much more room you have being able to fit piping through there. Um, and without doing that, I can tell you right now from experience, it is very hard to get three inch pipe through there. Um, you can do it, but the pipe is gonna be all jammed up into these air conditioning lines, all jammed up into this metal, and it is a pain. They start rubbing, they start making noises and banging and clanking noises, and it just sucks. So um, it's just better to open this up where you got more room. So we got the cutting done. Now we're gonna start marking holes for the front of this thing where we can start um, installing the brackets that hold the intercooler together. Um, pretty straightforward there. So we're gonna get that set up and show you what we did. All right guys, so as you can see, this is the first bracket right here that I made for Frostbite and how it mounts. The lower mount, you can actually retain the factory bolt that holds the window washer tank together down here. Um, so it mounts to the lower bolt of the window washer tank. And then up here, the, the bracket will mount on the back side of this top uh, support bar. And you have to drill a hole right through here, through the back of this brace, and then out the back side of it, where this will mount to the back. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. And the other thing we do, you can see we enlarge the hole so that we can fit a socket, a small socket and extension through there to be able to tighten this up easier. But once we get this mounted up, we'll show you exactly what it looks like. And then we gotta do the same thing over here um, for the passenger side. So, let's see what we got. All right, Mopar fam, we have the brackets, the two brackets that I made uh, a long time ago for Frostbite. Got the passenger side mounted. Got it mounted down here. And then up here we have our other bolt going through the back side here. And then driver's side, same way. We got it mounted up here at the top. And then like I showed you, we used the bottom factory bolt that holds the window washer tank on we use that bottom bolt as a location and then you can kind of see where they're at just like so so we're about to install that next and after we get it bolted up we'll show you what it looks like all right mopar fam as you can see we have the intercooler installed that is frostbite's old air to air intercooler and it's now on project storm we got our elbows our 90 degree rubber elbows mounted up um, so for right now we just have these uh, plastic wrapped and tied off so we don't get any foreign or animal objects that wants to decide to make a nest inside our intercooler um, for the next week to come until we get ready for all of our new plumbing and the holly high ram manifold to get installed um, so today so far was a success we got the air to air mounted up looks pretty good i mean it is it is dead level and center with the truck i mean it fits really really good not bad for a diy custom job intercooler that's supposed to fit a mustang fits pretty damn good so the last thing is the grill we're going to put the grill on real quick now we do have the um the honeycomb or the inserts removed right now and my buddy ryan is thinking about running it like that because it'll maybe get a little bit more airflow through it so we're going to try it out and see without the inserts uh, maybe down the road we do something else with it um, now, as you guys know, on Frostbite, we had the grill 
and the honeycomb still installed it does work but it is very very close on the bottom and i did have to shave and grind the inside of the honeycomb down some enough to be able to put the grill back on so it mounts up like it's supposed to but for right now we just have it removed and uh we will see what we want to do with that later on all right there you have it we got it all done stay tuned for the next videos to come again we have to get the holly high ram installed we'll have a video on that we're gonna have a video on what you need to swap over to the holly high ram not to mention we got to install all of the intercooler piping still so other than that guys i hope the video helped you out as always stay safe out there don't forget give the video a thumbs up comment below what you think if you have any questions send me a comment stay tuned and we'll see you guys on the next one